Yes. Three things I want you to do to nurture your vision. I want you to affirm it every day. Affirm it every day. And don't affirm it as I'm trying, I wish, I want to. I am. Let me hear you say, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Every single day, I am is the creative force of the universe. Whatever you attach I am to, you will become. You know, people say, I'm broke. <laughs> or I'm single. No. I'm waiting for my ideal mate to present himself to me in a way that I recognize. Whatever you attach I am to, I'm confused, no. I am awaiting clarity in this moment. So affirm your vision every day. And just because somebody else can't see your vision doesn't mean that it's not a powerful vision for you. Here's another key for you. Never judge your clarity on how other people respond. Did you hear me? They're going to say, what you doing? You crazy. Why are you doing that? You can't do that. Who told you you could do that? Who do you think you are? I love that one. Who do you think you are? Me? Affirm your vision. Clarify your vision. Know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how you're doing it, day by day, moment by moment. And sometimes the how only shows up on a need to know basis. Don't wait for the how until you start pursuing your vision. You understand? Don't wait for the how. Sometimes you just have to walk blindly. But if you just do your vision every single day, putting one foot in front of the other, committed to your desires, being obedient, walking through your fears, the vision will unfold much grander than you could have ever even imagined or asked for. So, this is what I say. To support your vision, instead of begging for it, pleading for it, praying, oh God, please, oh please, God, please, oh God, please, please, God, please. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Be still. Let your daily spiritual practice be one of stillness and listening. Listen for the instruction instead of begging for the direction. Listen. Be still.